Pedro, how do you feel about that one? That looks pretty sweet. That looks awesome. That suit, it's, it's incredible. The scientific name of the rainbow nudibranch is D Dendronidus iris. Its phylum is Mollusca, and the class is Gastropoda. The subphylum is Dendronida. Rainbow nudibranchs live only in the marine biome in the coastal zone. Its habitats are in warm waters among along muddy and sandy bottoms by the shore. Nudibranchs are found all around the world, but the rainbow nudibranch lives only on the west coast of North America. Like most invertebrates, the rainbow nudibranch has a radial symmetry and a hydrostatic skeleton. The rainbow nudibranch is not sessile, but does move slowly, about the pace of a land slug, slithering across the sandy bottom. However, if, however, if it is in danger, especially from the sunflower sea star, it is able to swim away by folding itself up and down over and over again. The digestive system is very simple in a nudibranch. It has a digestive gland which dissolves the nutrients used for energy. It also has serratas, which takes poison from prey and uses it for its own benefit. We'll talk more about this later. The rainbow nudibranch is not an herbivore like some might believe, but a carnivore. Nudibranchs eat other invertebrates, but their main diet consists of one thing, tube anemones. The rainbow nudibranch's predator-prey relationship is all carnivorous, because both its predator and prey eat meat. The sunflower sea star is the most dangerous prey for a nudibranch, while the tube anemone it is its prey. The tube anemone is highly poisonous to most animals except for the rainbow nudibranch. It usually eats unsuspecting fish and other marine animals. Like most mollusks, nudibranchs have an open circulatory system, but they use it in a very different way. The word nudibranch means no gill, so nudibranchs have a different way of breathing next to most animals. Instead, they use small organs that are all around their bodies called serrata to convert water into oxygen they need. Serratas are tubular and stick out all around the nudibranch. Serratas can fall off and grow back like a lizard's tail. If a nudibranch is in danger, it will usually drop one of its serratas and swim away. The serrata will squirm, which will cause the predator to be distracted. One adaptation that a nudibranch has is the way it feeds on its prey. When a rainbow nudibranch finds a tube anemone, it attacks it furiously. As a defense mechanism, the tube anemone retracts into its tube, accidentally pulling the nudibranch in with it. The nudibranch does not harm the anemone, but eats its tentacles, similar to a lawnmower cutting grass. At last, the tube anemone will surrender and let the nudibranch go. Tube anemones are poisonous sea anemones and dangerous to most small fish. However, when a nudibranch eats a tube anemone, the toxins in its tentacles are not dissolved by its stomach, but are brought up to the serratas on a nudibranch. This makes it so the nudibranch is now as poisonous as the anemone once was. Another amazing adaptation that a rainbow nudibranch has is that it is solar powered. When a rainbow nudibranch does not have enough food or does not have the nutri nutrients it needs, they store algae in their skin. When algae goes through photosynthesis, the nudibranch feeds on the sugar that it's created during the process.